mean, I think in, in terms of how we go forward, we're always looking at the moment to try and scale things up. So I sort of mentioned before, we're playing around on a gram, maybe up to a kilogram scale. So I think next is trying to get onto the 100 kilo um, scale of level of things. I mean, I'm thinking you're not going to be looking at sort of 2015, 2020 is we have to try and develop things in these sort of time scales, really. So in the next 10 years, um, something on a reasonable industrial scale, so getting up to a megawatt scale um, to convince people this is going to going to work. Um, there's also a bit of a challenge as well in um, if you're going to deploy these technologies and have them working on power stations in a reasonable time. There, there is a bit of a race really to get them to get them built and get them running as well. Uh, I guess as you're aware, there's you know there's competitions for building new power stations in the UK and with carbon capture on as well. So if this is going to if this technology is ever going to fit into that program, it needs to be developed really quite quickly. Getting carbon capture in it is, you know, there's so many different areas, it's such a long chain. So you're talking about the transportation, you're talking about the storage, there's, you know, validation, there's legislation, there's, there's monitoring, etc. that needs to run through. Um, so that there's a huge chain of work going on. So, I mean, it'd be ludicrous to claim that we are the, the pivotal, pivotal stone in all of this. I mean, yeah, we, we are one technology in, in a suite. And I guess it's nice in a way, there's, there's comp competitive technologies being developed, there's, a, you know, you know, the best ones will come through and that's probably the best way of developing things as well.